Peggy 18. Hey everybody, Carl from Crystal Dynamics. So hopefully by now you've had a chance to see our first trailer from this new game Tomb Raider entitled Turning Point. If not, before we go any further, take a chance to go and have a look. Visit TombRaider.com or YouTube.com forward slash Tomb Raider. So this is a massive project for us here at Crystal Dynamics. Not only is it the first trailer of the campaign, sort of setting the tone and ambition for our vision, but it's also the first time that we had a chance to work with some of our acclaimed partners, including Visual Works, based out of Tokyo. Over the next few minutes, you're going to get a behind-the-scenes look at how we took concept all the way through to our global launch pre-3 this year. Hear from some of the people who were integral to the process, including Ikimori-san and Zue-san from the acclaimed Visual Works studio. So without further ado, let's dip in and give you a behind-the-scenes look at this acclaimed Tomb Raider turning point making of. Before we get into the trailer itself, it's important to put that in the context of the larger story that we wanted to tell. This is Lara's first big adventure. She's uh, fresh out of college, but her life's passion that Lara wants more than anything to uh, establish herself as, as an explorer, as an adventurer, as, as an archaeologist. In picking a destination for Lara's adventure, we really wanted to make sure that she was put through an ordeal that would transform her from this young, ambitious archaeologist into the Tomb Raider that she would become. She really goes through a massive arc. This is a Lara in a situation that we've never seen before. So the goal was that by the time you get to the end of the trailer, you really feel like she's about to embark on something very new and very different, and she doesn't really know whether or not this is her. So when we began the process of, of looking for a partner to be able to create this trailer, uh, we looked at tons of people. We've worked with many people in the industry over the years, from LA to the UK. Um, and really what, the, what came to a head was the Deus Ex trailer. Visual Works had just begun working with Montreal and created probably, to us, was the most mind-blowing CG we've ever seen in our lives. The visual works is... 内部で何をしているかと言いますと、えっと、ゲーム内で使われるえっと、ハイエンドの CG映像、ま、もしくはえ、トレーラーとかで使われる so partnership began last year at, uh, at E3. That was our first time really meeting with them. So VisualWorks for, uh, for many, many years now have been worked on uh, a lot of the Final Fantasy trailers and as we all know over the years they've gotten better and better and better and the detail and the attention has become absolutely phenomenal. Um, and for us it was trying to bring a piece of that to our trailer. どういうところが違うかと言われるとなかなかまああのリアルだけを追求しているわけではなくそこにあのやはりアートの部分をかなり入れて意外とリアルリズムの中に実はデフォルメが非常に入っているっていう世界観が非常にあの使いこなしているという
我々日本人でもヒットするような、まあ、非常に素敵な絵だったのでぜひ、まあ、あの変わったと言ったとしても、まあ、よく、まあ、非常に魅力的になったと思って僕らは大喜びであのむしろ<笑>全然違和感も何も感じずに受け入れられましたっていう感じです。My role in that project was to sort of consult and、uh, try to make sure that the Lara we brought to the screen was going to be consistent with the, the game vision. Our number one goal was to make sure we brought、uh, an emotional Lara to the screen. Not only did she have to look beautiful, you know, but she had to really convey a complex emotion. And because she's going through some extreme circumstances, to see that fear. So、our main focus was how do we make sure she looks consistent? You know, she looks like we conceptualized,、um, but also conveying these extreme emotions、uh, and to really tell that story. 制作フローがあるんですけどその例えばレイアウトがアニマティクスから始まってアニメーションで、えー、クロスシミュレーションエフェクトレンダリングっていうようなフローがあるんですけどもそこのやっぱりフローっていうのがなかなかあの他の方には理解しがたい部分なんでそういう意味で例えばその今まだこのアニマティクスのフェーズの状態であるのっていうのがなかなかやっぱり伝わらなくてそのアニメーションが早く見たいとかいつできるんだっていう話とかはありました僕らもやっぱり一回プロジェクトを終えると次にまた新しいことに挑戦したくなっちゃうんで水の表現ずっと昔からやってるんですけどどんどんどんどんあのこうしたああしたいっていうのが積もってきてるんですよそれをやっぱりそのこのトレーラーの制作期間の中で全部やろうとしてるんでそこが結構大変だったりとか。VisualWorks sent us their first take on Lara. It was literally right out of the box. We gave them concept art, we gave them our model, you know, and we were blown away. I mean, they really brought Lara to the next level. VisualWorks has this amazing simulation system. I mean, they're able to bring、uh, these characters to life, but also all the fabrics, the weather,、uh, everything you saw on there was very difficult to do.、Um, from the way the wind took the clothes, and you see, see it billowing through when she's underwater. You can see that the, the, the water actually displaces the, the fabrics around and the hair and every, the way everything moved. We had to not only render hair you know, in, in a dry situation, but we had to make sure it looked good wet. We had to make sure it looked good dirty. All of those things were different degrees of simulation that Visual Works just did an amazing job bringing to, to bear. Ikomori san is, is a real taskmaster when it comes to detail. When we look at the model that was delivered to us, Um, it, it blew our mind from day one. And I think when I look at it, I think the painstaking hours that we've put in with making sure that we show、uh, a side to a character that we'd have never shown before. So, one of the biggest pillars throughout our game, which we want to make sure we transfer it across into the trailer, is audio. So, the most important part for us for audio was really to bring the world、uh, to life. And really make you feel as though that this could be a real place. One of the sounds that we created was、uh, the sound of Lara's cabin. The sound is typical of the kind of detail that we go into, and it's probably something that you'd never even notice. I walked out of my office one day and around into the kitchen, and there was a guy on his hands and knees with a microphone jammed into a vending machine with his hand contorted over the back, trying to get this dull hum. When I asked him what he was doing, he was like, This is Lara's cabin. And we played it back amazingly enough with a little bit of tweaking, it sounds exactly as you would imagine the inside of a cabin on a ship to be. So, for the scene where、uh, Lara's on the beach, our composer wrote a, a piece that was very、uh, intimate and, and extremely important in terms of the story and the arc of the trailer. We really wanted to get the most out of this scene, and it just so happened we have、uh, a concert violinist on staff. So, we got him to come into the studio. And the composer was able to direct him over Skype and get the、uh, perfect performance for that scene. So, one of the key things with this trailer from day one is that I wanted to try and achieve a quality which we haven't had in any of our trailers before. 
We've all worked on many, many gameplay trailers. We've had some of the spikes and the highs and lows of introducing characters and feature sets, but this had something more, had some more detail, which we knew from day one was going to be much harder to try and communicate. We began working with Ignition, uh, a studio who I'm very fond of and I've, I've loved their work uh, over the last few years. They've done some tremendous, some tremendous movies and some tremendous trailers. Uh, uh, I think trailers such as the ones from Inception were, were ones that kind of blew me away. The team down there uh, really embraced our vision. They really embraced the goals that we had to be able to sort of show Lara in a very different light. Even the trailer that came back from Visual Works, being that it was four minutes long probably at the time, uh, when we start eating into it with Ignition, we cut it all the way down to about three minutes that you see today. First up, the return of Lara Croft in a completely reimagined Tomb Raider. In this game, you'll meet a young 21-year-old Lara as she washes ashore off the coast of Japan after a fierce storm destroys the ship Endurance. There's going to be a lot of talk about this game at E3 next week, but right now we've got the exclusive world premiere of the cinematic trailer for Tomb Raider. So just before E3, we had the opportunity to, uh, to air it on the Spike GTTV pre-E3 show. Um, and it really was exciting. For, for months we'd spent so much time gearing up to this date. We'd been working with Jeff to try and get prime position and it was great. He gave us the first trailer of the entire show. Uh, and the minute it aired, it went global. Uh, we've had millions and millions of views. We're, we're really delighted by the success of it. And obviously the comments and feedback that we've had from, uh, from fans and from just gamers uh, around the world. So there you have it. Behind the scenes look at how we made the Tomb Raider Turning Point trailer. So a big thank you to all the people involved, from Visual Works in Tokyo, to the team here behind the scenes at Crystal Dynamics, and the team in Ignition down in LA. We hope you enjoyed looking at this trailer. We hope to bring you more throughout the entire campaign. Thank you very much and goodbye.